Hello everyone and welcome to coding card. So in the last session we have already solved this problem. Delete the middle node of a link list with the help of single pointer. So in this session we are going to solve with another method with the help of using two pointers. So let me explain you here. So suppose we are given a link list having value 1, 1, 3, 4, 7, and the value was 1, 2, 6, 1, 2, and 6. So here my middle element was 7. So we have to delete this one. Okay. So previously we have solved with the help of single pointer. Now here we will be using two pointers. Here we will be using P1 and P2. Suppose this is slow pointer which will move one node at a time. And this is fast pointer which will move two node at a time. So if you see here both are standing here p1 is also here and p2 is also here suppose p1 is moving one node at a time and p2 is moving two node at a time so p2 will reach here p1 will be here p2 will go here now in the next iteration p1 will reach here p1 will reach here and p2 will reach two node at a time means here so p2 will reach here now in the next iteration again p1 will reach here and p2 will reach at the end now see p1 is at the required position p1 is at required position means is standing at the node which we have to delete but this is not possible it means in the last session also i have explained to you if we have to delete this node then we have to stand one node behind so that we can point this link directly to the next dot next means we have to stand here if you have to delete this one then but in this logic when p1 is moving one node at a time and p2 is moving two node at a time then p2 reaches the end and and p1 reaches the the middle of the node means the node which we have to delete so this logic will not work so for that one what we will do let us apply some different logic let me explain you that here what we will do just think of yourself like if we have a link list having value 4 7 1 2 and 6 what logic should be applied so that p2 reaches the end here or here means at the last node or the last node dot next which is none and p1 reaches one node behind the middle node means this is my required node which needs to be deleted so we have to write a logic in such a way that p1 reaches the one node behind the middle node and p2 reaches the end okay so for this one suppose let me delete this one suppose if we are generating one temporary node now suppose p1 is here and p2 is here so p1 is moving one node at a time and p2 is moving two node at a time so p1 position will be here now and p2 position will be here okay now again in the next iteration p1 will come here p2 will go to the this position so this is p1 this is p2 now p1 will move again one node at a time so this is p1 and p2 will move two node at a time so this will be my p2 now see here if p1 move again two node at a time if it moves two node at a time then p2 value will be none and p1 and p1 will come to this node so again here the scenario is same we cannot delete this node on which we are standing so this logic will fail again so what we will do instead of moving one since we we were here and p1 was here so now we will simply write a logic for both even number of nodes and odd number of nodes now if i write a logic like if p2 dot next dot next is not none is not none so you can see here p2 reaches to this node and we have condition check like while p2 dot next p2 dot next 
dot next which is showing to none currently here we have written p2 dot next dot next is not none but here it is none if it is none then simply come out of this loop simply come out of this loop and here we are going to simply write the same logic p1 dot next equal to p1 dot next dot next so it will show p1 dot next dot next so p1 was currently here so this link will be showing p1 dot next dot next so let me delete this all so it will look like 4 dot next is connected to next dot next like this one so and after this we will simply write head equal to head equal to temp dot next so head will be again one and we will return the head return head so this will work so this will work you can see here this logic is working it looks like this node is gone this logic is working so for the odd number of nodes we have this logic okay what will happen if you have even number of nodes suppose the number of nodes are even suppose one two three and four so what we are going to do here is we'll take one temporary node now p1 will be also showing to temporary node and p2 will be also showing to temporary node p1 will move one node at a time p2 will move two node at a time now for this four number of node this is our required node for the deletion now now p1 will move one node at a time p2 will move two node at a time so p2 reaches the last node so whenever p2 reaches the last node what we have to do now see p1 is at the perfect position one node behind so this is our required nodes which needs to be deleted so according to this one p1 has already reached to its correct position means one node behind so you can see here for even number of nodes p2 has reached the last node so so for even number of nodes we'll simply write one and condition and here we'll simply check p2 dot next is not none if it is not none then it will go in while loop otherwise it will simply come out of this while loop and here we have already written the logic like p1 dot next equal to p1 dot next dot next so p1 is currently at let me delete this all p2 is here now here we have written p1 dot next equal to p1 dot next dot next p1 dot next equal to p1 dot next dot next so it will look like we have temporary node 1 2 2 is p1 p1 is showing to p1 dot next dot next which is 4 and 4 dot next is none and last we have written head equal to temp dot next so this will be my head pointer and we are simply returning this head so this logic will work we have to simply write this condition so let us write the code so let us write the code and again i will explain you there one more time let us delete this all now here our very first task is to create a temporary node so let us create one temporary node for this list node class and here we have to pass next equal to the head head pointer now a temporary node is created so our task is this temporary node is created whose next is pointing to the head node means we have added a temporary node at the beginning now we are going to take two pointers p1 one is p2 p1 equal to p2 equal to it should point to the very first node which is the temporary node now we will use while loop now we have to write the condition for the both even number of nodes and odd number of nodes now this while loop is being iterated by pointer p2 p2 is the one which is reaching the end so we will write the condition for first even number of node so p2 dot next is not none so not none so this condition is for the even number of nodes so you can see here this second condition and after this end 
and this I, I have already explained you with the even number of nodes. After this, we will add the condition for the odd number of nodes. So for the odd, we have p2 dot next dot next is not none. This one p2 dot next dot next is not none. So this is for the odd number of nodes. And p2 dot next dot next is not none. Now p1 will move one node at a time. So p1 equal to p1 dot next and p2 is moving two node at a time. p2 equal to p2 dot next dot next. So it will iterate till p2 reaches the end. Now once this while is done, so once this loop is over, it means p1 has already reached to its correct position, means one node behind the middle one, the node which we have to delete. So p1 is at perfect position. So what we will do? p1 dot next. It will point to p1 dot next. This is the middle one. You point to dot next dot next. So p1 dot next is the middle one. You move one more extra node. So p1 dot next is the middle one, middle node that we have to delete. So instead of showing p1 dot next, you show to p1 dot next to next so that's why p1 dot next equal to it is like so here p1 dot next is the middle one the node which we have to delete so what we are doing instead of showing p1 dot next you show p1 dot next dot next it means it is like if we are having a linked list like this and p1 is here and we have to delete this node. So p1 dot next, this is the middle one. Instead of showing p1 dot next, you show p1 dot next dot next. Okay. Instead of showing this one, you show to the dot next, p1 dot next dot next to the next node. So that's all we are done. Now, after this, we have to change our head pointer, means we have to return this head. This is temporary, this is connected to this one. So our head is this one. We have to return this one. So here we have used this temporary node just to perform our logic. So once our logic is done, what we have to do here, we have to return this original head node. So original head node is denoted by temp.next. So what we will do is simply return temp.next. So we are done. Let us run this code. So you can see here it is working fine. Let me submit this code. So this was our previous solution. We got one wrong answer for the single node boundary condition check. So you can see here it got accepted. So this is the solution with the help of using two pointers. So let me explain you one more time. So let me copy this one and explain you here line by line one more time. So let us take this example only. Here we have odd number of nodes and here even number of nodes. So let us first take the even number of nodes, one, two, three, four. Suppose we have a linked list having value, one, two, three, and four. Three and four. So what we were doing in the first line, we are taking one temporary node. This is P1, this is P2 and temporary next is connected to the head one. Now this is done. Now in this while condition we are checking while p2 dot next p2 dot next is not none. Yes, p2 dot next is not none. And at the same time p2 dot next dot next p2 dot next dot next. This is also not none. So p1 will move forward one node and p2 will move two node. So P2 will come here. Now again, it will go in while loop. Now from here, it will again go in while loop. Now in while loop, we are checking P2 dot next is not none. P2 dot next is not none. Yes, it is not none. And P2 dot next dot next. P2 dot next dot next. Yes, this is also not none. 
So go in, in, so go inside the while loop and here we have written P1 you move forward. P1 will be here and P2 will be here. Since our linked list was 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this was our required node which needs to be deleted. Okay. Now see here. It will again go in while loop and here we have written p2.next is not none. But here p2.next is none. So it will come out of the loop, out of the while loop and here we have written p1.next. So once this while loop is over, p1 is already at its perfect position, means one node behind. So that we can easily delete the next node. So p1.next equal to p1.next.next. .next. So it will show directly to 4 and we are returning temp.next so temp.next is this node we are returning this one so we are getting the correct output 1 2 and 4 okay so this was for even number of nodes now let me explain you for the odd number of nodes suppose a linked list with odd number of nodes having value 1 3 4 7 1 3 4 7 one, two, six, one, two, and six. So our very first task is, so our very first task is to create one temporary node. Temp it's next is showing to the head pointer. Next line is P1 will be showing this one, P2 will be showing to the temporary, this one. Now it will go in while loop. Here we are checking P2 dot next is not none. Yes, P2 dot next is not none. And at the same time, p2.next.next .next is not none. Yes, p2.next.next. .next .next. Yes, it is not none. Go inside and p1 will move one node at a time and p2 will move two node at a time. Okay. Now again, from here, it will go in while loop. Again, p2.next is not none. p2.next.next .next .next is also not none. So p1 will move one, p2 will move two node at a time. Again, we will go in while loop. P2.next is not none. P2.next.next dot .next is also not none. So P1 will move forward and P2 will move two node at a time. Now again, it will go in while loop. Again, P2.next. P2.next is not none. This condition is true. But here we have and P2.next.next. Dot .next p2.next.next dot .next is not none but here it is none so it will come out of the while loop after while loop here we have written so once this while loop is over we have written p1.next equal to p1.next.next dot .next. since this was our node which needs to be deleted so p1 is standing at its perfect position it means one node behind the middle one which needs to be deleted so we have written p1.next equal to p1 dot next dot next so it will show directly to one and here we have written so it will look like temporary one three four one two and six and in the next line we have written return temp dot next since this is our head pointer and it is denoted by temp dot next so we are returning this one so it is working fine so that's all for this problem. So I hope you understood this code line by line and the explanation as well. So if you have learned something new, please do give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Coding Card and stay tuned for the next videos. Thanks for watching.